Candace Owens is the host of the Candace Owens podcast, and she has her own ideas for what Stanford might ban on its ban word list. It's great to see you tonight, Candace. Thanks for coming on. Um, both of us, of course, went to Stanford. We met in the computer science department there. And so for us, this is personal. What would you suggest that they ban? <laughs> You know, oh, I gotta sorry, be honest, I'm scared to speak. I'm not trying to get banned. I'm trying to abide by all of the rules, which would probably be easier if you're a student at Stanford, if you just kept your mouth, mouth shut. It just seems like a, a walking minefield, which is ridiculous. But I think I if know. we can't beat it, we got to join and we should ban some more words. I would say we should ban intelligence, obviously, because it's an ableist term. They had a whole section for ableism, <laughs> right? And right. of course, intelligence would be ableism. It's, it doesn't allow people who don't have thinking brains to be able to join in. And it, clearly, people that created this list do not have thinking brains. And what That's people true. should be thinking when they see things like this is that college campuses have become a criminal enterprise. Kids are taking out hundreds and thousands of dollars in loans to attend these universities to be told essentially that they can't speak and that everything that they do is wrong. I'm not sure at what benefit it is for parents to send their children to university anymore when they come back and they don't even know anything about their own genders. They come back dumber than when you sent them, right? Because they, they see everything as a buzzword, everything as a trigger, and in the end, they end up as non-productive human beings in society that also have hundreds and thousands of student loans, of student loan debt, and nothing that they're able to do because nobody wants to hire these people. These people that are just sensitive crybabies, what they end up becoming are government dependents, angry professors. They go back into the ecosystem that taught them the nonsense in the first place. I mean, this list is so laughable, but you shouldn't laugh because this is coming from Stanford University. Stanford, That's Harvard, right. Yale, yes, all these pretentious universities. supposed to be the best, the smartest, the cream of the crop. I'm sure we're not allowed to say that, by the way are supposed to be attending these university campuses, and this is what they come up with. Astounding, well, Tucker. But it's also a cover for them, so you can't use the term beat it at horse because it's violence against animals. As someone who actually loves animals, I would be interested to know how many dogs, cats, and monkeys have been tortured to death over the years at Stanford because they got some government grant to do it. Not to advance science, but simply because they got paid to torture those animals to death. Do you think they'll answer that question? No, I think what you're, you got to be careful here because that could be against the religion of Fauciism. And you want to be right. very careful not to be anti Fauci anywhere because God forbid That's you true. question any of his morals, any of the experience that they've done on animals or the experimentation that they did on human beings, and you will land yourself on the wrong side of Stanford University. So I'm, I'm not as brave as you are, Tucker. I wouldn't dare speak against Dr. Fauci. I would take a beagle over Fauci any, any day of the week. Candace Owens, great to see you tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.